your thoughts on mental health in the music industry? Good That's question. That's a good one. That's yep. a very good one. Um, obviously, like what I just said about like um, my lyrics and stuff, I think um, mental health is something that needs to be spoken about, you know, and like um, I think, you know, when, when I look at bands like My Chemical Romance and the bands that made me feel like less of an outcast and even bands like Nirvana before and you know, like I think it's, it's totally Radiohead, it's okay to be weird and, dif and different, you know, and like, and not that having a mental illness is weird, but it's okay to feel different to everybody else, and I think um, we're in a, a wonderful period of time where people talk about it a lot more than they used to. Though. Absolutely, like, just music has helped me, like, through so many hard times with mental health and stuff like that, like, to think that, like, our music, like, I've had people come up to us after shows and stuff and tell me, like, a song that I wrote when I was like 18 has helped them through a hard time and that to me is like... It's crazy, it's inspiring, it's, it's yeah, it makes you want to like more, you know? Yeah, it's uh, the, like, I ca you can't put a price on that feeling, honestly. And, and I think like, more people, it should be more of a, I mean I think nowadays it is yeah, kind of a subject is, more people is, are talking awesome. about, which is really yeah, good, yeah, yeah. but at the same time like, it, can't, it needs to be pushed a bit more because there still are some people out there who like, don't know wh who to turn to or who to talk yeah. to because they feel like they've shown that they're weak or whatever when in reality, we're here for you. People, yeah, yeah. There's people out there that and that will help you any any chance they can. Thoughts on pioneering women in rock and metal? In rock and metal. So um, I went to Reading Festival this year, and uh, obviously there was like that big thing about um, the poster a couple of years ago, and how there was only like if you removed all the male bands, there was like four bands or something crazy. So I think Reading Festival of um, I've really tried to kind of bounce back and make a make a, a point of it, and like bands like Fickle Friends, uh, Wolf Alice, like even Charlie XCX was playing, and like um, the thing that stood out to me the most was um, what Frank Carter said, and he said um, before one of his songs, he was like, "There's some amazing women at this um, this festival, and um, for the next song, I want women only to crowd surf." Mm. And he was like, um, "This is your time. You are safe." And before I go any further, I'm sorry it took us this long. You know what I mean? And like, it was really strong and powerful to me. And it's just like, it's kind of stood out like how it's like, once again, with mental health, like we live in the age where like things are changing and it's yeah. super duper inspiring. I truly believe Paramore and Blondie are like the two main kind of like female bands of, of maybe all time, you know, because like, and it's just crazy to think someone like Hayley Williams is just like a voice of a generation. Yeah. And there's so many women sat at home like, making music so much more than they would be without women like Hayley Williams and Lynn Gunn from Paris and you know like if you're sat at home as a female musician inspired by someone like Hayley you could inspire someone yourself someday so it's, it's, it's sick man you know it must be really hard like to be in a scene that's so full of males and bands I guess I have never I've like I've given thought before but like I don't know, man. It's weird, isn't it? Because it like, is, and it's it funny is. as well. Because obviously we're dudes, so we'll never be able to relate, you know. And yeah. like, when people say about feminism, blah 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 blah, it's like, well, no, dude, because you're a bloke and you'll never understand. You know what I mean? And I don't try to understand. You just got to try and empathize sometimes. Awesome. And like, there's obviously really cool like um, like charities as well uh, for like uh, women at shows. One of my mates' bands, Bit of Youth, a band that I mentioned earlier, they um, they they raised like I think it was like. Three hundred pound for a women char women's charity. Sick, awesome. That's really shows cool. recently, so and especially like because shows, they're quite a macho band, really. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's really it's cool. cool. Like, I think people really are catching on to like, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're a woman or a man. Like, yeah. music's music. Everyone speak. What's, that's, what's, that's what's the it? quote. What's music the music is music. one that says. Uh, music is a language that everyone can understand the certain totally saying. Yeah, and, and it's it's one hundred percent true. Also, check out bands like Dream State. Divide, Venom Prison. Uh, Venom Prison, really cool band. Like even bands like uh, Marmosets, you know what I mean? Like there's a there's a big movement going on right now. And like I said, to be honest, it, I mean, you know, it's it's obviously not an ideal situation. But if anything, women in the music industry now is more a call to arms. You know what I mean? Because the door is fucking open now. So mm -hmm. you know. So.